In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about submersible water pumps like this one right here. We're going to cover how they work, how to set them up, how to wire them up to an electrical system, and how to control them with an Arduino and some super simple code. Let's get started. The pump contains a small motor that is sealed to keep the water out. Here's the O-ring that seals it out. The motor is like the engine of the pump. Connected to this motor is a special fan-like component called an impeller. This is like what you would see on a boat. As the motor spins the impeller, it creates a swirling motion. The swirling motion sucks water into the pump through an inlet, which is down here, and then with the impeller forces out through the outlet, which is right here. That's how we can create a super high stream of water using the pump and an impeller. And if we were to just put the impeller on the motor like this, nothing would happen. But because of the inlet and the outlet and the little chamber inside, we can create pressure and use that pressure to have a high stream of water or a high stream of thrust. And then once you connect a tube to your outlet, you can direct that flow of water wherever you'd like. For our demonstration, we're going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to need a couple of different parts. First off, our pump and a power supply. Then some tubing. I'm going to use half inch PEX. Some connectors for the tubing. Two buckets to move the water from one bucket to another. Some wires and a relay. And then just a basic Arduino to control it all. Now I'm just going to connect everything together quickly and then we can get started on our wiring. Okay, so our second pipe. And then uh, that's all we need for that. All right, let's straighten this up a little bit. So we're going to be doing this into this. Try and get as nice of a fit as we can. Before we do that, I'm just going to set up some Teflon on our pump. Teflon is a nice way to seal up any type of water situation you got. All right, so now we have our pump going up and over because our pump is submersible. So it's gonna be in the bottom of this tank up and over and into the next one. Now this will be going like that. Okay, now from here, I'm just gonna do a simple elbow, push that in nice, and that will go like that. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna be using PEX tubing with these little collars to make sure that no water leaks out and sprays towards my computer and any other electronics. And then under that, I do have some Teflon here. Let me just unscrew this. So I'll just be using some Teflon on these pump outlets and inlets to make sure that there's a nice seal between the tubing and this to not lose pressure. All right. squeeze that's done should be a lot easier to just do this and now just squeeze just to go over quickly before we start we have our submersible pump which is in this bucket full of water then it's gonna go up and around and then back down into our second pump this setup is not like the one we did previously with the peristaltic pump this one is one way, so water goes from here to here, and we can't pull it out of here to here without doing some weird finicky stuff. The wiring itself is gonna be pretty simple. We've done this before. If you wanna learn how relays work or how to use Arduinos with relays, I have a video on it. I'm gonna post it in the description below. So we're just gonna skip that whole step and we're just gonna wire it all together. First step is going to be plugging in our relay to Arduino. The relay has three different ports, so let's plug those in. I'm just gonna plug in the relay into the five volt port for power, into the ground for ground, and into port number four for digital control. Then from there, we have the relay, and the relay is going to connect into a couple different things. The power supply, this little adapter I made for the power supply, and then the actual pump. Because we don't wanna just connect the pump directly to power, we wanna use the Arduino in between the two. So let's connect our power supply and our pump together in the relay. First off, we'll start with the pump. The pump has a red cable and a black cable. The red cable is positive, the black one is negative. We'll be connecting the positive to the COM port on the relay. Most relays, that's the middle one. But make sure you look and you see which one's written COM, COM. So now we're just gonna connect our power supply to the relay. We're gonna have our negative, which is the black piece of tape right here, and then our all white, which is our positive. Our positive is gonna to go to normally closed. So now both positive from the power supply and from the motor are connected. Now let's connect our negative to negative. 
since there's water involved in this project, I'm going to try and seal everything up properly. So I just have this black piece of uh, shrink tube. I'm going to slide it over one and then put it into the other. So that goes right there. You just take a lighter after and seal it up. All right, so to go over everything, we have our power supply. The positive from the power supply goes into NC on the relay. The negative goes to the negative of the pump. Then the pump positive goes into the relay, but in the middle COM port. And then the relay connects to our Arduino, the five volt for the five volt, the ground for the ground, and then pin number four to control it on the digital side of the Arduino. If you are gonna do this at home, please do be careful because we're using electricity next to water. Make sure you have your power supply away from the project so that you can always rip it off and shut down everything. All right, so now that we're done with our wiring, let's put this to the side, plug in the Arduino into the computer and write some code to make everything work. So for this, just open up the Arduino editor. We don't need anything, just open a simple project that has nothing inside of it. So for this, just open up the Arduino editor Make sure you're connected to your board, which is mine is right here. And then just start with an empty project. The first step is to declare a pin, which is where you connect your relay. Us, we picked number four, so I'm just gonna change that to four. Now we have setup and loop. In setup, we're going to put this relay pin, which is this one, and we're gonna make sure it's an output. So we're gonna direct from the Arduino to the relay information. So it's an output from the Arduino to the relay. It's not, we're not receiving information from the relay to the Arduino. Then in our loop, we're going to do a couple different steps. First off, we're going to turn on the relay. Then we're going to put a five second delay. So the pump will run for five seconds. Then we're going to turn off the pump and then we're going to wait 10 seconds. So the pump will go on for five seconds, then it will go off for 10 seconds and it's going to repeat, 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 repeat until we unplug either the relay or the power supply. Now, just for the video, I'm only going to put this on two seconds or I'm probably going to mess around with it, but you can put whatever numbers you want here. And it's by milliseconds. So 2000 is two seconds and 10,000 is 10 seconds. That's it for the code. It's super simple. This is the kind of the part where you would add different things and play around with it. But this is kind of the base. You need to turn on the pump, turn off the pump. That's it. Now let's run the code without connecting the power supply. So the pump doesn't start going without water in the tank. Let's just see that the relay turns on and turns off. You should hear a loud clicking noise. So I'm gonna upload this code into my Arduino. Now look at the relay, how the light turns off for five seconds, turns off for 10 seconds, and then it's gonna repeat over and over. Let's just change this to one second and one second, just to make sure. So upload a new piece of code. The relay is currently opened, off, on, on, off, on, off. So we know that works. Now what I'm gonna do, is add a long delay quickly on the off part. And I'm gonna plug in and make sure that nothing smokes, nothing goes crazy. Okay. Okay, so we have a problem. We connected the wrong pin on the relay. We put normally closed and we should be on normally open. So I'm gonna unplug the Arduino, I'm gonna unplug the power supply. We're just gonna go with a little screwdriver here. We're just going to take our white cable from normally closed and we're gonna swap it over to normally opened. That's why you test things so nothing blows up in your face and you don't start breaking parts. That seems tight enough. All right, let's plug it in. Let's keep the pump unplugged. On for one second, off for five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Now let's plug this in. The pump should make noise for one second and then be off for five. So here, so five seconds off and then on. Perfect. So now we know our pump works. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna fill this bucket up with water and then we're gonna start with a demo. Okay, so I'm gonna be as careful as I can. I got a full bucket of water here. I got a lot of electronics and stuff on the table. Now we're going to take our submersible pump and we're going to dump it in the water. It's unplugged right now. Push that all the way in. Now I'm going to leave the Arduino unplugged and I'm just going to plug in the power supply and listen and look for any noise or smoke. Make sure everything is safe. Okay. Now we're going to plug in the pump on the power supply. It's hard to see on video, but right here. 
there's water coming out. Let me see if I can do it safely. So now for every five seconds, we have one second of submersible water pump on. Our pump is flowing from this first tank going up here and into the second one. Then we have our Arduino, which controls the relay and the relay, which controls the power supply to the pump. So now no hands. My hands are right here in the picture, putting out water. Some good real life examples for pumps like these are water well systems for houses. When people don't have a water supply and they're living out in the woods, they can use one of these in a lake and then pump water to their house for a bathroom, for kitchen, whatever. For agriculture, so planting and things like that, when people have a massive bin full of plant juice and they want to pump it out to all their plants, they would use like this. If you've ever seen those ponds where the water just shoots up in the air, it uses a submersible pump like this one right here. And for flood control. So if your basement floods, you just get one of these pumps, you put it all the way down in the basement, you run a hose out the house and it would clean out the flood. Instead of you having a tube and like sucking out all the water like your Ghostbusters, you could just throw this in the basement and as long as there's water going into the pump, it's pumping into the next container. And there you go, that's how the submersible pump works. We went over how the pump works on its own, how to wire it up, how to tube everything up, how to set up a whole demo, and now you can do it yourself at home. If you enjoyed the video, just do me a favor and like the video. And then when you subscribe, hit that little bell notification. So when I post more videos like these, you can get notified right away. If there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking forward to the next video, we're gonna be using this demo, but with pressure sensors, flow sensors, and a bunch of other electronics in this tube right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.